Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games back with another cool video for you today. This is kind of a grab bag one. Every once in a while people like that we do a little bit of video game stuff. So in our arcade store, we also sell video games, mainly all the older stuff. Wii, Atari, PS2, uh, NES, Super Nintendo, PlayStation up to ps3 and xbox 360 we don't do too much of the newer stuff so anyway we have we have several people who hit up like yard sales and storage bin sales and stuff like that and they bring us stuff to sell so there is a gentleman who brings us stuff all the time and he just brought us this whole tote full of stuff so i figured we'd look through it on camera and see if there's anything worth a damn in there probably not but we'll see okay so here we go PS2 Gun, it's a cool game. PS2 Smackdown vs. Raw 2008. Now, we don't know what shape any of these are in either. So they may all be all scratched up and can't even be played. PS2 Transformers. If you don't know too, uh, by now, PS2 games are just a dime a dozen. There are a ton of them out there and they're really cheap. Uh, test Drive Off-Road, wide open. 25 to life. I never understood these games. This might be a good game. I don't know. And I'm not, I don't want to, well, to hell with it. I'll pick on this game. <laughs> Why would you buy your kid a game about going to prison? I don't understand, man. I don't understand. American Chopper. American Chopper. It's a blast from the past. Crush Hour. WWF. WWE Crush Hour. Who is that supposed to be? Oh, it's The Rock. The Rock, and that's Rob Van Dam, of all people. <laughs> um, PS3 Tron Evolution, still sealed. That's pretty cool. Tony Hawk Shred, Big Air, Bigger Tricks, which was clearance out for $15. Somebody got their paws on it, but never opened it. Canaan Lynch 2 Dog Days was clearanced out for $12.50, but this is just a PC game. That's strange. Still not open. Um, Major League Baseball 2K8. The Getaway. Wolverine's Revenge. Cabela's Big Game Hunter. It's the next evolution of hunting, people. Transformers Rise of the Dark Spark. PS3. Another PC CD. It's a double pack, folks. Construction and Alarm, both in the same one. Still sealed. Strangely, nobody wanted to play that one. Splinter Cell Conviction, also for PC. Still sealed. Alpha Protocol, the espionage RPG by Sega. Accomplish your mission with stealth, firepower, sabotage, and charisma. Your weapon is choice. Ah, oh, that might. If I had more time in my life, which I don't, I might consider playing that. You Don't Know Jack, the irreverent trivia party game. Still sealed. Fresh new scent, it says. Smackdown vs. Raw 2008 featuring ECW. Is that the same exact one I had earlier? Heck yeah. Anytime you're buying games off somebody... Now, these didn't actually come from him. I think he just got them out of a storage bin. But whoever had these, anytime they've got two of the same title, you know what that means. One of them don't work. Um, DT Racer. All right. Disc only ESPN football. Boy, I'll bet that one. I'll bet it's all scratched up because it's literally in a, <laughs> a big tote of things. Notice how we haven't even skimmed it yet. You might want to fast forward. <laughs> it's in a big tote of things. I'll bet it's all scratched up. Uh, it would probably still play, but it's pretty scratched up. <sighs> I 
IHRA Drag Racing 2. Nothing special. Where's my goodies? Splinter Cell. What system? PS2. Psh. Nothing special yet, people. The Sims busting out. That might be the best one we've found so far, besides maybe the getaway. Oh, and Gun. The first one was Gun. That's a decent game. Busting out might be good if it's not all stretched up. Cars. Mater National Championship. All right. True Crime, New York City. Mature. Let's see what they rated it mature for. Why would they say that that's a mature game? It has blood and gore, intense violence, strong language. It has a strong sexual content and use of drugs in a video game, people. SSX Tricky. Good game. If it works. Ty the Tasmanian Tiger. All right. I'm trying to get all the games up first. Super Trucks Racing. That's Super Trucks Racing and the DT Racer and a couple more. Uh, they were clearancing out in three packs at like... Uh, at like... Uh, um, what's the Walmart place that Sam's Club at Sam's Club back in the day I remember because we went and bought a bunch because we could sell them in our store uh, Metal Gear Solid the HD collection for PS Vita that's not bad decent little game there um, Bioshock 2 for Windows still sealed that's probably a decent game I've never played Bioshock looks kind of cool though All right, I'm going to have to start pulling out stuff that's not games. I work 05. Create, present, and publish your work with style. I work 05 includes Pages and Keynote 2. Pages imports Microsoft Word, Apple Word, RTF, and HTML files and exports Word, PDF, HTML, RTF, and plain text files. I have no clue what this is. Is it a program? I guess. It's got some books and stuff. I am not the most technologically savvy person, so I'm not positive why you would need eye work. But I'll bet at one time that was 50 bucks. Random bag of, I'm sure, junk. There's no way these are going to be in good condition. Anytime, anytime you have DVDs in a Ziploc bag. All right. Uh, they'd probably still play. Harry Potter, Happy Feet, and these are movies. School of Rock, <laughs> Men in Black, Fly Me to the Moon, the ultimate 3D adventure. Shrek 3D. Oh, somebody was messing with their 3D stuff. Superman Returns. Lake Placid. That's a good one. Python. And the best one yet, Boys in the Hood. Now, I know I've been talking trash about some of the other ones, some of the other gangster movies, but this one I really like. Has a good message to it. <laughs> All right, what else can we get? Okay, we got some big... Tekken 5 strategy guide. There's a strategy, I guess. I shouldn't be just hitting buttons. Enthusia Professional Racing. I've never heard of that game. What What is that for? PS2, it says. Midnight Click Club 3 Dub Edition. Rated E. I was just checking to make sure there wasn't any nonsense in that one. <laughs> pretty cool. Saints Row. I heard these were pretty cool too, but I've never played them. It looks kind of cool. It's like a, if it's free roam, it would be pretty cool. I, there was a customer that came in one time and he was talking about that crap, you know, how like the games are so violent or so much cr crazy stuff going on. And he said that, uh, which game was he talking about? 
Assassin's Creed, I believe. I believe he was talking about Assassin's Creed, and he said that he didn't like Assassin's Creed because he tried to he in in all of the games you have to join a uh, or whichever one he was playing you have to join a, a group of people and uh, go assassinate people uh, that are that are good people. So he wanted to play the game without having to do anything morally wrong. And th this guy is actually telling me this. <laughs> Dirge of Cerebrus, Final Fantasy VII. I'm a Final Fantasy sucker. I don't have time to play most of them anymore, though. Tomb Raider, The Last Revelation. How to draw Nintendo's greatest heroes and villains. That's kind of cool. Oh, wow. I remember stuff like this. I don't remember the specific one, but look, they're showing you. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Waluigi. Wow, that's pretty cool. I have never heard of that. But I like it. There's a couple 64 games, it looks like. Cruising USA. True classic. And WCW NWO Revenge. You got the immortal Hulk Hogan there, or Hollywood Hulk Hogan there. You got Kevin Nash, Raven, and Bill Goldberg. Those were the days, folks. We have a TV, play power, and television set up. Little plug and play in television. That's kind of cool. Uh, we get stuff like this all the time. Just like a random wireless controller that doesn't have the dongle for it that makes it communicate. So it's basically trash unless you hang on. The hoarder in me. And I'm not that much of a hoarder. I mean, look, our store is nice and organized, you know. So does that look like hoarder? No, everything has a place, you know. So the hoarder in me says, oh, I could save that. And eventually I'll find just the dongle. And then I can made them back together and sell it. But I've got to stop that, people. I've got to stop doing that. <laughs> I have to I have to change from my hoarding ways. Okay, this says Thrustmaster, map map tur turbo connect, slow start, power on off, motors on off. That looks like a nice controller, but I don't know what it's for. Thrustmaster, wireless. Maybe I'll Google it later. Maybe it doesn't need a dongle. And you watch me find the dongle in here after I threw that one away. Um, there are three of these. I wonder if this is for some kind of like... They seem pretty well made though, so I don't know. Maybe it's for some kind of separate system that I don't know about. If it was for 360, that would be really cool. And there is a Wii system. They always had the flaps missing off the top. But a, one thing about the Wiis, and it's really, it's a Nintendo thing. One thing about Nintendo stuff is usually it still works. So I would not be surprised if these still work. Maybe we'll look later. Maybe that'd be a good end to our video. Do the two Wiis that we got, do they still work? Uh, look at this thing. That says one, two, three, four instead of the PlayStation things. Game elements recoil. There's some kind of cable, like a USB cable hanging out of it, that I guess goes back inside of it somehow. Can I? Oh, it's doing it. It's trying. Seems gimmicky, people. We'll save it from the trash so far. Okay, more books. Adventure Time Encyclopedia. Compiled by His Lowness, Hunson Abadir, Lord of Evil. Oh, okay. Boy, glad to have this in my store. 
Cartoon Network. I've never heard of this. Looks kind of cool, I guess. I've got a book from the Lord of Evil here. Uh, yeah, I don't know what that's from. Whatever. Looks cool. Long Way to Texas. Lee McElroy. I don't know why I have that in my video game box, but it must have just been mixed in. <sighs> Disc only stuff is always just trashed. PS2 games. So even if they're PS2 games with the boxes, you know, they don't really have, you know, much value. Uh, Gru Grubo Muntis. It looks like maybe it's a Hispanic CD, which I kind of like some of that stuff. Maybe I'll listen to that later. Pitbull, I Know You Want Me, hits number one. Okay. Pitbull's cool. Uh, I don't know. Emil. Don't know anything about that. Selena, maybe the motion picture. Well, no, well, Selena was a singer, so maybe that's just a random Selena thing. WWE WrestleMania 23, the bootleg DVD. Another version of the same game. That must be a good game. I've got three of them. SSX Tricky. I wonder if all those cases are empty. Nope. Maybe some of them. All right, nothing there, except maybe the CDs. They look kind of cool. Here's another one, CD stuff. Uh, Storm Chasers DVD. Yet another SmackDown vs. Raw. I think it's a different year, though. The Herb Sims in the City. Kiss Pinball for PlayStation 1. It's interesting. Tar Hero 2. Starsky and Hutch. Resident Evil 4 for PS2. Alright, so is it even playable? Yeah. Pretty rough. Pretty rough. Disc only stuff has very little value. Steering wheel for the Wii also has very little value. Here's our two Wii power supplies and a Wii nunchuck. Wii controller. This whole, all of this crap, like all of these little attachments for the Wii are one of the biggest displays of crap I have ever seen perpetrated on the American consumer. I mean, it's just crap. So if you've never messed with a, a, a Nintendo Wii, it, it's, it's, I'm sure most people have, they sold like a hundred million of them, but it's all motion controlled. So when I move my hand like this, it can tell on the game, the system can tell because of a little sensor bar what I'm doing. So if you play like a table tennis game, if I do like this, it thinks I'm hitting the ball and it, you, your hand actually moves on the screen. Well, you don't need these. It doesn't actually put it in the screen or anything. So the only purpose of these is to attach it to your freaking remote to make it look like you're holding a paddle in your hand. Look, they've got a tennis one, a golf club one. It's just crap. There's a baseball bat one. So you screw a big thing onto the top of your remote to make it look like you're actually swinging a plastic baseball bat. Charger. Pretty rough. Another PS2 controller, but it's got a little piece missing off of it. That's trash. Um, a real PS2 controller, but it has the little pads missing off of it. A cheapo PS1 controller. A decent PS2 controller, but that and the wire. 
So the wire's clearly broke. That'll be trash. More CDs. Curious George goes to the hospital. You know, I was just thinking, am I going to find anything in here that I'm going to have to edit out later? Montez de Durango, Desde Guatemala. Desde. Donde means where is, doesn't it? Desde. Maybe that means what is. Reg. Rebutan 2007 Various 20 Exitos. Look at that. Whenever CDs came out, they told us that a CD would last 50 years or something crap, like 100 years or something like that. But after about 10 years, we all figured out that if they get hot, they start rotting. And after about two days, if they get scratched, they stop reading. Wasn't quite what we was promised. I guess if you keep them in good, in, in uh, where they're supposed to be, I guess there's, I guess they last. Okay, we're getting down to the end of it, folks. If you've followed this far, we're getting to the end. Yet another CD case. This is another thing that they did to us. They convinced all of us that these cases were so cool. And so you'd go in a store, oh, look at this one. It's different than this one. But they didn't tell you that every freaking one of them screws up your CDs. And then, if it's anything that's worth anything, like a, a CD or a DVD, it's not worth anything without the case. This whole thing, all it has in it is Grand Theft Auto 3. Ugh. See all these scratches on it? That will probably still play, but it just looks like crap, so nobody will ever buy it. Oh, and by the way, I didn't pay much for this stuff. So I didn't really get bamboozled. I knew what I wasn't buying. <laughs> so now we're down to all these loose CDs and crap down on the bottom of this thing. I'm getting to the bottom of the box. Oh, there's a Chingy CD. Yeah. I like that one right there. <laughs> okay. Ventilating window lock. All right, and I can go back in there, I think. I think it's safe to say that I can go back in there. And then, there's a baseball in there for some reason. That might be the coolest thing in the box. So why did I buy all this crap off this guy? Uh, kind of because I wanted the Wii's. I'm sold out of Wii's right now. So he has two Wii's, and I'm thinking that they may work. And the baseball's a nice little added touch. Some of these, like like the PS3 game that was still sealed, the, 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 the Tron game, I'll probably sell that. I might end up getting five or six of the PS2 games that are sellable. There was a PS Vita game, a couple N64 games. Um, even some of the PC games might be all right. Um, the little Intellivision plug-and-play, somebody will buy that. So my whole point is, you get a whole bunch of crap. A lot of this stuff will end up thrown away. But you do get some things that have at least some value to them. And, you know, like, for instance, I really do like that. That is a good movie. That's So that's a cool little DVD there. Somebody will like that, or I'll keep it. Um, so let's look through these real quick. The Backstreet Boys. No, thank you. Hey, Paz de la Sierra. Okay. Buster Rhymes. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> baby Genius Children's Songs. Cabela's Dangerous Hunts 2. <sighs> Metallica, the Black Album. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, I think it's been ruined. Karen Peck and New River, A Taste of Grace. I don't know that. DJ Scarface, Down South Doing It, Volume 5. All right. Los Rioleros, Abrendo Caminos. Yo Canto, Laura Pausini. 
Mystery Disc. Prince of Persia. Sunset Park. It features the dog pound just dogging and mob deep back at you. Wow. Drew Hill. Completely destroyed. What a bunch of crap. George Strait, 50 number ones, disc one. This is a really good CD. I have this. Got to keep that to the side in case. Let me put that with Boys in the Hood. Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. No, thank you. Mystery Disc. Mystery Disc. Mystery Disc. Mystery Disc. Cletus T. Judd. No relation. No, thank you. Madden 2005. In pretty nice shape. <laughs> Chingy. Hood Star. Okay. Reggaeton 2004. Ano de Exet Exitos. The Fugees. Take it easy. Main version and instrumental. Okay. Ratatouille. 30 Nortenas de Oro. What are some cool looking dudes there? That might be good. I can't ever tell what they're saying, but I like the sound of it. It's always so upbeat. Mariah, The Emancipation of Mimi. Isn't this supposed to be Mariah Carey's best album? I think I heard that. Let's see. It's like that. We Belong Together. I remember that one. Shake It Off. I remember that one. Mine Again. Say Something. Stay the Night. Get Your Number. One and Only. Circles. Your Girl. I Wish You Knew. To the Floor. Joy Ride and Fly Like a Bird. A couple of those are decent. Aventura Bacata. Okay, whatever. Best of Disco. I mean, you know. The Print Shop Deluxe 3. Rehenes de Jame Sonar Contigo. Floss Ballas. <laughs> Floss Ballas, balling out. You damn right. Stun ya. Big Glock. You ain't heard. Don't be scared. I ain't never scared. Off the chain. In the club, how we roll. Floss. <clears throat> don't want none mob can't hold me lace your boots female goat which if you don't know goat means the greatest of all time test me trill hitters and mr flip sampler all songs are produced by the floss ballas for floss records executive producer was edward baby gray Staples. Los Tigres del Norte. Now, I'm pretty sure these are like, this is like the most legendary uh, uh, Hispanic band that there is, I believe. Is this playable? Yeah, I might save that. <laughs> Duchess, Fergie. I remember that. 50 Cent Hits. <laughs> Cam. Com. Boy, it's a shame that one got ruined. Crystal's Bacata. Aventura number two. Oh, wait a minute. Is that like, are these like home videos or something? I'm going to have to watch some of these. Theme Addict. The mu WWE Theme Addict. The Music Volume 6. Wow, this might be kind of cool. 
million dollar ambition my page page <laughs> it's a mixtape this is their myspace page and their booking info you might want to call that number they might still be out there daddy yankee barrio fino i hope none of this is like cussing in spanish the gaither gospel series heaven some of that stuff's pretty good Grupo Montes again. Is this like a wedding? No, they're not. I don't know. <laughs> Nellyville. Air Force Ones is on it, people. All right, we're going to have to fast forward to the highlights here. Silk the Shocker, he did that, featuring Master P. That looked like that might have been a good one, but it's broke. Johnny Rivers, now this guy. Johnny Rivers this is an old school guy that played guitar. He was pretty cool. Almost all of these songs he recorded live at like the Whiskey A Go-Go or something. And they were all big hit. well not all, but a lot of them were big hits. And they were all him doing covers live on stage. Pretty cool. So Memphis, Maybelline, Mountain of Love, Midnight Special, Cupid, Seventh Son, Parkman Farm, I don't know that one. Where Have All the Flowers Gone, Under Your Spell Again, Secret Agent Man, I Wash My Hands in Muddy Water, Poor Side of Town, By the Time I Get to Phoenix, Do You Want to Dance, Baby, I Need Your Lovin', The Tracks of My Tears, Do What You Gotta Do, Toon Smith, It's Too Late. I think I've heard like 15 of those 20 or 19 on the radio. No clue. Need some more hot. Sounds fun. Need for Speed Underground. Reggaeton Club Anthems. Eight Mile. Yeah. Bacato Explosivo 2005. Ooh. Yahim. See? You never know what you're going to find. Oh, man. It's probably not going to play. Yahim's really good. If you don't know about Yahim, go check him out. Oh. This is the famous Boys to Men 2 album. This is a good one. Ah, it's messed up, though. Ah, that one would have been worth it. Batman Begins, but look, it's the bootleg. This is... <laughs> Did I still sell them like that? <coughs> Somebody burnt that on their computer. UFC Sudden Impact. Primavera. Oh, boy. America Online Disc. Oh, man. So it's an AOL disc. If you're, if, if any youngsters are watching, this used to be how you got internet. Like you would put this disc in your computer, and then it would install a program off of this disc. These, they gave these away for free. It would install a program off of this disc. You got a free trial of a certain number of days, and then it would basically... Um, this disc had a little program on it that would dial up to the internet and dial to AOL servers and the numbers changed every once in a while and everything so Forza Reggaeton Extreme Lil Wayne Bacata number one Snoop Dogg the game is to be sold not to be told people Oh, but that won't work. Some of that was good. I remember that back in the day. 007. Webby. Favorite hymns from the Homecoming Friends of the Gay Gaither Gospel Series. So whoever's CD collection this is that we had, they had their Snoop Dogg and their Eminem, and, and they had their Gaither Gospel Series. I guess it depending on what day of the week it was. Pedro Fernandez, 
Anna Barbara, Bar Anna Barbara to decision. <laughs> okay. Uh, boy, that looks good. I doubt, it'll, I doubt any of this will play. Soldier boy. The 504 boys. Mary 411. Is that a... I don't know. Jamie Foxx, unpredictable. Oh, is that the one with the... She give me money. <laughs> Gold digger. Another SmackDown versus Raw. Somebody was hooked on that wrestling stuff. Grupo Brindis. Super Exitos. Kodak Picture CD, CD image. I don't know, people. Pablo Montera, Donde Estas Corazon. That's the Donde I was talking about. So he's saying, where is Corazon, maybe? Another AOL one. A doctor, a live conference call. A doctor talks about the benefits of noni juice with his patients. Okay. A little boozy finally made it. DMX, the Great Depression. No bull kicking the asphalt. The New Day Grass. Huh. Los Angeles de Carly. Reggaeton Sin Limite. Tupac's Greatest Hits. Boy, that was a heck of a CD back in the day. Chief Keef. <laughs> The names of some of these guys. Look at this. Look at this. I'm getting all the all these videos. I'm getting all the good Los Tigres de Norte stuff. Monica, the boy is mine. Mixtape exclusive, the last mix. 23 songs. Okay. Lorena Chantaje. We're almost done. 50 Cent, The Massacre. Wow. Somebody broke their Dr. Dre CD. Well, that was something cool whenever it came out. There was this same exact CD that was just instrumentals, the whole freaking CD. So he released this whole CD full of songs, and then the same exact thing with just instrumentals. Bobby Polito. M&M show. So, <laughs> it's a big tape. John Meyer, you gotta be kidding me. Apparently, not that, you know, I'm sure there's not all that much of a demand for it, but apparently it's the first edition from 76, hardcover, right? And it's 
worth a little bit. At least the people are trying to get a little bit. This gentleman wants $40 for his, and this gentleman wants $61 for his. You can still get a brand new hardcover, uh, but the cover's different. And I think this guy changed his, used a, uh, this, this might be a uh, pen name or something. And uh, you can get a lot of the paperbacks, but this is the original hardcover. Hmm, that's pretty cool. I didn't just mess it up. <laughs> Say you never know what you're going to run into. The little recoil controller seems to work good. It's not worth anything, but I mean, we sell this kind of stuff. A little USB Windows controller. All the buttons do their thing. So I guess that's cool. The Intellivision thing seems to work. Are any of these games worth a crap? Space Armada, Skiing, Motocross, Baseball, Football, Star Strike, Astro Smash, Night Stalker. I guess that's all that's on it. Snafu and Shark Shark. The classic Shark Shark. Copyright 1982. What do I do? <laughs> Uh, do I just stay away from the, uh, oh, I died. Do I have to go get air? Or something? <laughs> I can't remember. Ah, uh, those are bad guys. All right. Okay, we're going to test out these Wii systems. Um, so I've got it all wired up. Turn on the TV. TV's up. The one power supply is powering. All right, and I have rigged up batteries in the remote, but I haven't synced it yet. Let's see if it does anything. It's trying. Yep, synced right up. Okay, it didn't have an AV cable, and it didn't have the uh, sensor bar. But we're getting some action on the screen. I always look at them. Sometimes they've got like games downloaded on them. No disc in it. Let's go get one. We got anything decent? Little Mario Brothers game. Some of these, I think it has to update to play this game or something. Let's see. Let's see if it catches it. Yeah. In order to use the software, you must perform a Wii system update. Select OK to begin the update. We don't need to do all that. Let's find an older game. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't feel like going through all that right now. Let's see if it likes this one. But it does look like it was trying to play it, right? Oh, come on. Guess we're going to have to. I guess all these games are too new. Whatever. All right, I'll come back when the update's finished. All right, so it seems to be playing. So that one of them works. Let's try the other one. System number two, see if it does anything. It's trying. Let's see if we can get the controller to sync up. All right, they had Netflix and Hulu on this one, <laughs> and Amazon. Uh, no games downloaded, though. All right, let's see if it likes our disc. Bup, 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 bup. 
All right, it got it. So there we go. Both of them work. Awesome. Uh, I looked these up too, and these are also uh, Wii controllers, but I think they have to have like a little dongle, um, and the dongle's missing. I wonder if the map button will make it sync without the dongle. Hmm. Let's try it. Well, I got it to flash, but that was as far as I could get it to go. So, the hoarder in me is going to save my batteries that I just put in it and throw the rest of it away. Got to stop hoarding, people. All right, so not too much great in it, but we got a little bit of good stuff out of it. So we figured we'd just film this, show you a little bit of the stuff that we do during the day whenever uh, it's in between working on arcade games. Um, whenever I'm done with this, I want to put this stuff up a little bit, and I'm going to work on this joust over here in the corner. So it's kind of what we do during the day. We do a little bit of work on the video games and then a little bit of work on the arcade games and kind of go back and forth, back and forth. So, But we had an older couple in earlier that were asking about Wii systems and we didn't have any. We'd sold out. You would be surprised how many of these Wii systems people are still buying. It's a popular system. Very popular system. As a matter of fact, I believe, a few years ago at least, it was the most popular system of all time. That might be hard to believe, but look up the numbers. They sold a lot of them. Um, so we had a couple in earlier that were asking for one, um, for, I guess for maybe for a Christmas present or something. Um, and uh, we told them we'd probably get some in pretty soon because we usually have them, but we were all sold out. And then the guy came in with these two, and uh, we've got all the little components and stuff, so we'll be able to get them up in a nice little bundle together for them to sell them. Uh, there we we took their number down and we'll call them back so hope you enjoyed the video let us know what you think if you saw anything worth anything in that bundle did you see anything in there that, that was interesting anything at all we got a few games out of i got a stack of about there was about 15 ps2 games that cleaned up all right and then there was a stack of about 15 or 20 uh discs that looked uh like they would uh that they would play and were decent enough to keep um, we got the two Wii systems. We got that book. We got uh, there was about six or seven strategy guides. Uh, we got a couple Nintendo 64 games. I tested them and they worked fine. Um, and then we had a couple 360 games that were new, and a PS3 game that was new, and a PS3 Transformers game. So you know. But with all that said, this is all the stuff that's going in the dump. Maybe I'll keep the baseball. So all this is the trash. So out of all that, about 15% of it, maybe we save. Maybe. So there you go. Leave your comments below. Let us know what you think about all the crap that was in there. And we will see you on the next video.